And now, it's time for another Dice Tower Review with Tom Vassell. Hey everybody, I'm Tom Vassell, and today we're taking a look at Hush and Rush. Now this is a young children's game. It's from Logos, you see that there's a 3 plus up here, and it really is a game that 3 year old, 4, 5, 6, lower elementary, is going to enjoy this game. Very simple game, here's how it plays. All right, so here is the board for Hush and Rush, and you are going to place these two pronged pieces in the bottom of the board so they're sticking out. So you have different obstacles. You have some leaves, a bush, a tree stump, and a small tree. Each player has three pieces, a chameleon, a rabbit, and a hedgehog. And players are just gonna take turns, and on your turn, you are going to roll the die. You'll pick one of your pieces and move that far. So maybe I'll do the chameleon and go one, two, three. Now, why did I do that? Because I can hide the chameleon behind that. Each of these shapes, the, he the, the bushes here, hides the hedgehog. The tree hides the rabbit. And the stump hides pretty much every shape. So on your turn, you roll a die, and whatever number, you'll pick one of your pieces that can already be on the board and move it that many spaces. If you roll the eyes, then the wolf looks. So you just tip his hat back, Wah! he looks. Anybody who's not hidden by something, so in this case it would only be the hedgehog, goes back to start. That's it. Once you've gotten past the last spot over here, you're safe, and the first person to get all three of their animals past that spot is the winner of the game. All right, there's not a lot to this game. Underneath, like I said, so you have these pieces like this, and they just fold up, and you randomly put them on the board in the different spots. So it's not a big deal. You have the eight different things to hide behind, and once they're in, they stay in pretty well. The wolf here at the end, this is n for nothing at all, just rolling the eyeballs, but I do like the hat. I thought it might be a catapult or fly off his head, but nah, it's just there to be like, he can see you, he can see you. And these are cute, they have a single stand, pretty easy to move around. Not a lot of components and such, I mean the rules are, are literally just one page, I mean really, they're half a page of that. Yeah, pretty good components. I almost wonder sometimes if I should give these games ratings for how much kids enjoy it to how much parents enjoy it. Because the perfect kids game, parents like almost as much as kids, or if not more. This is one that's gonna lean more towards kids liking it and parents kinda going, when is it over? But it's not that long. I mean, it says 10 minutes in a box, that's really it. You roll a die, so at the beginning, you roll a two. There's that one bush, the tree that can only hide the rabbit. You move your rabbit there. Pretty obvious choices, but it does offer you some ideas of choice. You can say, well, I'm gonna take this one animal and run it all the way up. I'm gonna run out here a little farther and try to come back. The problem is you never know when that wolf's eyes are gonna open up. So sometimes you just get caught. And sometimes you roll so well, you're never in a position to get caught. But it's a silly little game. The kids love it. For them, it's gonna remind them of a lot of games that kids play, like Red Light, Green Light because that's kind of what it feels like. It's like, run, hide, run, hide, run, hide, get to the end. Definitely though, for younger kids. That's what this review is based on. If you have, I get for kindergarten, first, second grade, this is gonna be something that they're gonna enjoy. After that, they're gonna find it a little too simplistic for them. But hey, we don't have enough good games for the younger set, so I'm glad to see this one. That's Hush and Rush. I'm Tom Vassell. We'll see you next time. Dice Tower Judgment, approved for kids. Thank you